Yeah, so hello folks, and um, as I promised earlier, this is part of the handling test as well, so um, it does ride well. I mean, the top speed we've established on the German Autobahn is 191 kilometres an hour, so 118, 100 and 119 miles per hour, V maximum, that's as fast as it goes. But I mean, it's not dramatically fast, but for a 1.2 litre three-cylinder turbo petrol gasoline engine, it, 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 it holds its own. It does the job. Nothing, nothing startling. Not a sports car or anything like that, or an involving driver's car, but very comfortable, reasonably well engineered and designed, and very easy to drive. Yeah. So, um, but the basic handling characteristic of this car on the limit is understeer. That's all it has for every occasion is understeer. So, what would your handling tray be? Understeer. What would it be tomorrow? Understeer. What would it be the day after that? Understeer. So yeah, you've got a choice of you've got a choice of any car handling characteristic you want on the limit as long as it's understeer. So, and if you drop the throttle mid-corner, it just, it's just less understeer. But still, the, the, the comical floaty ride and com floaty comfortable ride is something to, something to have a laugh about, even though it's very comfortable. But yeah, it's a return to the French roots in regards to, flo in regards to politely polite ride and um, roly-poly handling, but remains very well balanced, nevertheless. Remains very well balanced. So we're going to have a look at this hairpin down here as an example. Heel toe down to second. There goes Hamish. Yeah, so back down the what's it, back, back back down the other side of the dashboard he goes. Yeah, so um, so I don't know if he's really a fan of the body roll and, and hard cornering and that and it does it does understeer a little on the limit but still remains pretty predictable nonetheless. So yeah, so we'll, Give that one a go as we go back up. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I've just discovered something else with this car. Like when the, I just made a U-turn now into someone's driveway, and that. And let's have a look where your left hand indicator's on to turn in, turn in. And if I if I if I snap the wheel back pretty quick to centre, no, nope, I can't do it at the moment. But no, nope, it's not going to do it this time. That's not going to do it this time. Never mind, just stop that one actually. Okay, so here we go again. Let's try this again. So yeah, so as we go up again, listen to that Citroen power. Here we go. There we go. Oh, someone's got the right. Someone, someone's got another Citroen coming the other way. DS3. Body roll, it's roll Citroen roll, not roll tide roll. As you'd say in Alabama, this is roll Citroen roll. Here we go, there goes Hamish. Centering up, here we go. Hang on, hang on. Here comes the hairpin. New second for this one. Heel toe second for this one. And just look at the body roll, roll Citroen roll, roll. And look at Hamish. He's rolled over. He's rolled over on the back. Does he want a belly rub? Let's have a look. See, on the back, so you can get belly rub. There you are. What do you reckon, son? You reckon you reckon the handling of this car is is tres ordinaire, very ordinary? Say so, yes, Thomas Daddy. Yes, Thomas Daddy. I think the handling of this car is very ordinary. Would you prefer this over my Mazda MX-5 Miata? No, Thomas Daddy. I would not. If I stay in this, if I if I was left alone in this car, if I was driving it myself, I would feel very motion sick. Oh, I know. If I, were, if I was a five-year-old child, I'd be spewing up all over the seats and the upholstery, and it'd be a real prick to clean up. Yes, Thomas, Daddy, I totally agree. Yes, I know, son. So you can go sit back down on the dashboard now, where there's all these studs. Looks. Let's have a look at the studs on the on the on the glove box. Well, it looks like a looks like a case of acne, doesn't it? Where all those black studs are, all all the acne pimples. Yeah. So you so you can stay there. Nah. There you are. Yeah, so, so there you have it on that in regards to that anyway in terms of the handling on the limit and the steering there's not really not really too much in way of bloody steering steering loading and cornering and that the steering feels just average at best but it's still very light it changes direction okay no one's around when we're doing this hey, hey. 
be interesting to take this car on a, on a witch's hats course or something like that to see to see to see it more or less just lean like a skier whoa and look at it again whoa and you can just feel the body roll just as we're going going across and it's the same thing again we'll go to third gear Oh well, you just feel it. It's like the it's like the body roll control is um, very limited to non-existent in this car. It's really very limited at best. So um, so so if it was if we were to take this to a to a to an agility course or something like that, let's just visualise every other car turning up to, to the agility courses. Well toned athletes, well to, well tuned, well toned athletes, and here I am in a Santa Gertrudis. Yeah, so Santa Gertrudis or, or an Australian milking zebu or something like that. So I turn up in, a, in, a, in something that represents a bull or a cow in comparison to everything else which is live. But even so, like I said before, despite the body roll and the understeer on the limit and the, and the lack of real throttle adjustability and won't lift off oversteer, even so, it's still very comfortable despite having conventional suspension, struts at the front, and, uh, and, um, and, um, and coil springs at the front and rear as well, with the rear has a beam axle rear suspension, but it doesn't pose any problem to ride comfort, definitely not. Yeah, so, so um, not a driver's car by no means, and I'm driving, a, I'm driving a sponge, but even so, it has character. So yeah, so. Yeah, quite, quite enjoy this car, even though it's not something that I'd go out and take to my favourite piece of road and have some real fun. And it's okay though, it's okay. See, see, um, you push up, you push something, it floats back. Yeah, so that's the best part about Citroëns and French cars. They always have their quirks. And like I said before, in regards to the automatic braking system fault, that will have to be dealt with under warranty, so. So, we'll, we'll um, We'll let them know once we return the car. So yeah, so now we've done 1,409 kilometres. Yeah, so just over 870 miles, about 870, 874 miles. So yeah, so all of them have been very comical, and it's always good to see the Citroen float through your favourite corner where there's undulations. I like a car that communicates. So yeah, so we'll talk to you very soon, and that. So stay tuned for further updates. And um, yeah, so. Um, until very soon, very shortly, au revoir, bonjour, <laughs> yes. peace out.